Hi friends, welcome to today's video. This is going to be a short video on a very interesting topic that is probability value or p-value. This is a concept about which you may be asked questions in data science interviews. So please make sure that you understand this concept very well and I'm going to attempt explaining it to you in this particular video. If you still have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me either on Facebook or on YouTube. So let's see what is the definition of p-value. So the book definition of p-value goes something like this. It is the probability of finding a value as extreme as the observed value given that the null hypothesis is true. So I'm assuming that you already know what is null hypothesis and what is alternative hypothesis. In case you don't, I suggest you watch my video on hypothesis testing first or go and watch any other video or read any article or any book so that you understand what is null and alternative hypothesis. But I'm going to assume that you already know about it. And with that assumption, let me give you this example. So let's say that my null hypothesis is that it will not rain tonight. And my alternative hypothesis is that it will rain tonight. And you and your friend are having some coffee on the patio and you can see that the sky is full of gray clouds and you can hear some thunders and some lightning and there is also a cool breeze that is blowing and it's overall a really nice weather. So your friend asks you, what is the probability of this kind of weather if it is not going to rain tonight, right? So he's asking you, what is the probability of this kind of weather as in this kind of gray clouds and a cool breeze and lightning and thunders was the probability of such an extreme weather happening if it is not going to rain tonight and you say that the probability of such extreme weather is very low if it was not going to rain tonight so let's see what does that statement really mean Let's compare it to the definition of p-value. So you say that the probability of such extreme weather is very low if it is not going to rain tonight. And the definition of p-value, it goes something like the probability of finding a value as extreme as the observed value. So the extreme observed value that is referred to in the definition of p-value is nothing other than this extreme weather that you are seeing and the other important part of the definition is that given that the null hypothesis is true so the probability is something that you want to know assuming that the null hypothesis was true so that's why here we also say the probability of such extreme weather is very low if it was not going to rain tonight and if you remember that was our null hypothesis that it will not rain tonight so assuming that it was not going to rain tonight the probability of this kind of extreme weather is very low isn't it or in other words such extreme weather happens only when it is going to rain tonight isn't it only when it is going to rain that's when you will see such gray clouds and such lightning and uh, some cool breeze, isn't it? Um, so that's how you can relate a day-to-day -day situation with the definition of uh, p-value. Let's look at another example. Uh, and this is the example that I also have in my other video about hypothesis testing. So let's say I'm conducting an experiment of tossing a coin with my friend and my friend does not know if the coin is fair or not. My null hypothesis is that the coin is fair and my alternative hypothesis is that the coin is not fair. 
So now I go ahead and do a probability experiment. I toss the coin 10 times and every time head shows up. So I ask my friend, what is the probability of 10 heads showing up in a row if the coin is fair? Right? The answer will probably, yeah, it's kind of low. I mean, what's the probability of getting 10 heads in a row if my coin was really fair? It might have been like 6 heads, 4 tails or even 9 heads, 1 tails. But really, what is the probability of seeing 10 heads showing up consecutively in 10 tosses if my coin was really fair? It's very low, isn't it? Uh, but still, you may think, yeah, maybe it is possible that 10 heads may show up. But then I go and I toss the coin 100 times. And even then, I see heads every single time for 100 times. So what is the probability of 100 heads showing up in a row? It's very, very low, isn't it? It will be something like 0.5 into 0.5 into 0.5 100 times. That's a very small number. So the probability of this kind of a situation, this kind of an extreme situation of 100 heads showing up in uh, a row uh, is very, very low. Um, and if my coin was really fair, then this the probability of this kind of situation happening would be very low. So this probability is called the p-value and when this value is lower than a critical value or the significance level, we reject the null hypothesis, right? So let's say you um, uh, are tossing your coin 100 times, but um, uh, let's say that your significance level was something like, you know, uh, tossing the coin 50 times. So if you toss it 50 times and you see 50 heads, then you will decide that no, that my null hypothesis is not true. My alternative hypothesis is true, right? So that's your significance level. It could be 10 tosses, it could be 50 tosses, it could be 100 or it could be more. But that's something that you decide from the beginning before you even conduct the um, experiment, uh, depending on what level of error you are okay to tolerate, you define your um, significance level. Uh, but let's say in this experiment, it was 100 heads uh, showing up in a row. That was your critical um, uh, value or your significance level. So if you get 100 heads in a row, then you will say that no, this coin is not fair. Um, so that was the video about p-value. Hope you understood something. Hope you learned something. And I hope you use these examples in your interviews and you go ahead and you ace those interviews and you explain them p-value very, very clearly and that they are impressed by it and they select you. Uh, so that was today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like our video and share it with your friends. And also don't forget to follow us on Facebook. And we plan to bring you a lot of videos. So please follow us. Please encourage us. Uh, thank you so much.